Assalamu alaikum Arabic speakers. My name is Jay. I'm one of the expert teachers here at E2 Language and now E2 School. What we're going to do in this lesson is just for you. We're going to look at OET speaking for Arabic speakers. If you're not an Arabic speaker, this will still be helpful to you and you should subscribe to the channel because I'm going to go through all of the main languages around the world. So eventually I'll get to your language, but this one's specific for Arabic speakers. Okay, let's get started. So what are the main differences between English and Arabic in terms of speaking? Well, in English, there are 22 vowel sounds like ah, E, I, O, A, for example, but in Arabic there are only eight vowel sounds, so Arabic speakers have a lot of trouble trying to make some of the English vowel sounds. We're going to look at that in this lesson. In English there are 24 consonants, but in Arabic there are 32. Nevertheless, there are still some consonants that Arabic people find difficult to pronounce, to say, so we're going to look at these particular issues, okay? So stick around, this will be interesting. Let's start by looking at the vowel sounds for Arabic speakers. In green are the vowel sounds that you do not have problems with, but in red are the vowel sounds that you do have problems with. Let's go through them together. So we'll start with sheep, that one should be fine, and ship, that should be fine, and cat, ah, that should be fine, and Far as in R should be fine, and uh as in good should be fine, and uh as in shoot should be fine. Problematic ones include eh as in bed, oh as in on, or as in door, ah as in up, er as in bird, and teacher as in <laughs> er, sorry, as in teacher. So let's have a closer look at these specific ones. We're going to look at the difference between saying i and e, okay? I sounds wrong and e sounds right. So what Arabic speakers tend to do is when there's a word with a vowel sound, with an e vowel sound, you guys tend to say i, okay? So let's try to fix that. What I want you to do is actually follow me and say the sounds um, after me. So let's start by looking at these two, don't say bit, say bet, bit, bet. Don't say disc when you're trying to say desk, disc, desk. Don't say did when you're trying to say dead, did, dead. Don't say hid when you're trying to say head, hid, head. Don't say miss when you're trying to say mess. Miss, mess. And don't say lift if you're trying to say left. These two sounds are, or the if sound is a very problematic one for Arabic speakers. Please repeat after me. This is a crazy sentence and I apologize. I was trying to make some sentences and this one came out. It's very uh, gloomy, but let's do it. I'll read it first and then you repeat after me. I bet he'll hit his head on the desk, a mess will be left and then he'll be dead. Your turn. Cool, good stuff. Let's have a look at O oh versus or. This is also a problem for Arabic speakers. So for Arabic speakers, sometimes it's difficult to say the word bought, for example. It sounds like bot, like I bought a new car yesterday. No, no, I bought a new car yesterday. So don't say bot, say bought. Bot, bought. Don't say tot, say taught. Tot, taught. Don't say cops, say corpse. Cops, corpse. Don't say not, say naught. Not, naught. 
Don't say pot, say port. Pot, port. Don't say cod, say cord. Cod, cord. Cool. Repeat after me. At the airport, I taught a corpse to count from naught to 40. You try. Cool, how are you going? It's like when you try to say these sounds that feels very unnatural, right? But to me, to the native English speaker, it sounds perfect. For you, it's like or, or doesn't feel right. But to my ears, it's like, oh, that's perfect. Well done, thank you. Okay, so just keep practicing. Let's keep going. Let's look at multi-vowel sounds, so more than one vowel together. These are called diphthongs in linguistics, but let's look at multi-vowel sounds for Arabic speakers. There are how many? Uh, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in English. Okay, you have no problems with wait, a, a, a. This is in your language, so that's no problem. And ow, as in cow, is in your language, so that's fine. But you have lots of problems with these ones here. I, as in my. Oi, as in boy. O, as in show. Ear, as in hear. Air, as in hair. Ur, as in tourist. Ire, as in fire. Hour, as in power. There are some particularly difficult ones. Let's look at the difference between e and a, okay? So for Arabic speakers, sometimes if you're trying to say the word raid, it sounds to me like red. So don't say red, say raid. Red, raid. Don't say lead, say laid. Lead, laid. Don't say plet, say plate. Plet, plate. Don't say then, say vain. Then, vain. Don't say radio or radio, say radio. Radio, radio. Don't say gret. Say, great, great, great. Cool, all right, please repeat after me. Wait, concentrate. You need to go straight, but don't touch the wet paint and try not to faint. All right, let's look at the difference between o oh and o. Oh. Okay, this is uh, a very common mistake for Arabic speakers. It's the difference between I hop and I hope. I hop you get well and I hope you get well. In English, you need to say o, oh, I hope, I hope, not o. Oh. It's not a short o, oh, it's a long o, oh, o, oh, o, oh. okay? So don't say hop, say hope. Hop, hope. Don't say location, say location. Location, location. Don't say phone, say phone. Phone, phone. Don't say hotel, say hotel. Hotel, hotel. Don't say ocean, say ocean. Ocean, ocean. Don't say remote, say remote. Remote, remote. Cool, repeat after me. I hope the location of the remote hotel will be near the ocean and have a phone. You try.
Okay, let's look at consonant sounds for Arabic speakers. So we've talked about the vowel sounds, the a, e, i, o, a, u, uh, and the, and the multi-vowel sounds, the o and the u, for example. Now we're going to look at the consonants. These are like k, d, f, when you actually use your lips and your tongue and your teeth, for example. We're going to look at the specific issues that Arabic speakers have with some English consonant sounds, okay? Just before we do that though, if you're not yet a subscriber to this YouTube channel, do click that subscribe button. The reason why is eventually uh, we will make some videos like this one, but we'll look at grammar issues that Arabic speakers have when they're writing and speaking. They're going to be great, okay? Uh, plus we publish lots of great videos on here all the time, so do click the subscribe button. By the way, if you're having real issues with your pronunciation and you would like to improve your pronunciation, check out www.e2school, that's e2school.com. Uh, you can sign up for a course called Speaking Lab and it takes you through all the different sounds of English, okay? So that's a particularly helpful one for uh, pronunciation. Plus we have other courses on there for grammar and vocabulary and all sorts of stuff. And if you're struggling with your test, check out e2language.com. It's for test preparation, okay? So there's two websites, e2school.com for general English, pronunciation, vocab, and e2language.com for test preparation. Cool, all right, let's keep going. So here are all of the consonant sounds in English. Let's just go through them. But to be honest, for Arabic speakers, you only have issues with these sounds here. So we've got p, We'll look at closely at that one. B, f, v, f, th, t, d, s, z, sh, z, ch, j, k, g, m, n, n, l, r, j, w, h. Okay, no problem. Because Arabic has so many consonants, you can see that uh, you only struggle with a few. One of the biggest ones that you'll struggle with though is B and P, the difference between B and P. It's a very slight, subtle difference. B, P, B, P. One comes more from the throat, that's the B sound. But the one I want you to pronounce correctly, it comes more from the front of the mouth, like a P, P, almost like you're spitting. P, oh, maybe I am spitting, who knows. All right, let's do some practice. So don't say beach, say peach. Beach, peach. Don't say buy, say pie. Buy, pie. Don't say bleed, say plead. Bleed, plead. Can you hear the difference? Don't say bought, say port. Bought, port. Don't say blaze, say plays. Blaze, plays. Don't say cub, say cup. Cub, cup. It's a tiny little difference, but it, 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 it's the difference between me understanding what you say and me going, huh? And if you're taking one of these tests, for example, it's the difference between the examiner or the computer going, oh, I understand you versus, huh? I didn't understand. Like, he plays soccer, he plays soccer. No, 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 he plays soccer, pl, 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 pl. It's more of a p sound, bl, not plays soccer, plays soccer. Tiny difference, but lots of importance there. Okay, repeat after me, please. I plead for a cup of peach pie, please. You try. Okay, let's look at another problematic consonant sound between English and Arabic, that is f versus v, okay? So don't say ferry, say very. Ferry, very. 
So this time, when you're trying to say the v, v, very, that is very good, which is perfect, very, it comes more from the throat. Ferry, f, ferry comes from the, the, the front of the mouth. So this time, I want you to use your throat. It's very good, very good. Not very good, not very good, okay? So don't say leaf, say leave. Leaf, leave. Don't say fillage, say village. Fillage, village. Don't say proof, say prove. Proof, prove. And we also have a put sound there. Don't say belief when you want to say believe. Belief, believe. One's a noun, one's a verb. You try. Don't say file if you want to say something is vile. File, vile. Okay, let's read this sentence. Repeat after me, please. We need to leave the village to prove that we don't believe in vile villains. You try. Okay, this is the last of the consonant sounds, okay? So come on, let's keep going. Keep watching this video. This is the difference between t and d and the. So t and d versus the correct sound, which is the, 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 th, or th, th, th. Let's have a look. This is, this is a problem in many languages, but also in Arabic. This is a, a very uh, idiosyncratic or strange sound of English. So don't say tink, say th th think. Ready? Don't say tink, I tink, I tink, say I think, I th th. Your tongue needs to hit the top of teeth. Th th th. I think, I think, it just goes th th th. I think, that's very good. I think, I think about my teeth when I say th. I think about my teeth when I say th. Let's try. Don't say tink, say think. Tink, think. Don't say toot, say tooth. Toot, tooth. Don't say Thursday, say Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. And here we have the d sound, so it's not t, it's d. Don't say dat, say that. Dat, that. Don't say brother, say brother. Brother, brother. Don't say dare, say there. Okay, repeat after me. I think that my brother is getting his tooth taken out on Thursday. You try. By the way, if you are really struggling with your pronunciation, you can book one-on-one -on -one tutorials on E2 language. Uh, and one of our expert teachers will be able to help you out. It's one-on-one -on -one and we use Zoom, which is like a, a program like Skype, and our teachers can give you one-to-one -one personal training on your pronunciation. So think about booking a tutorial. Be very helpful. Okay, 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 okay. Now, we've moved out of single sounds. Actually, we did some multi-vowel sounds. Now we're going to look at a thing called consonant clusters. This is when we get a few sounds and we 
push them together. So in English, there are lots of consonant clusters and in Arabic, there are very few. So there are many problems with consonant clusters, okay? For example, look at number one here, spr, 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 spr. So I would say sprinkle, but many Arabic speakers would say sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. So what you need to do is please don't add any vowel sounds here. Try to join these together as one sound, spr, sprinkle. So say sprinkle, not sprinkle, sprinkle. Say strong, not er strong, strong. So you say glow, gl, 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 glow, not glow, glow. Say threat, not threat, threat. Say speak, not speak, speak. Cool, all right. That was just an introduction to some of the consonant clusters, those groups of consonant sounds that come at the beginning of a word. I'm actually gonna show you all of them in English, okay? I'm gonna go through all 30 consonant clusters, initial consonant cluster sounds at the beginning of the word. So we'll do this pretty quickly, but you can pause the video and stop and say these, the word. Okay, let's have a look. Bl, as in blue. Br, as in bread. Dr, as in draw. Dw, as in dwell. Fl, as in floor. Fr, as in free. Gl, as in glow. Gr, as in grow. Cl, as in claw. Cr, as in crow. Qu, as in quick. Pl, as in play. Pr, as in pray. Sk, as in sky. Scr, as in scrub. Squ, as in squall. Sl, as in sled. Sm, as in small. Sn, as in snow. Sp, as in speech. By the way, I'm gonna stop there because in English, we actually have consonant clusters of one, two, three consonants together. This does not exist at all in Arabic. In Arabic, there are no three consonant clusters, uh, three part consonant clusters like this at all in your language. So this is completely different and completely new. You need to practice it. Split, as in split. Spr, as in spray. St, as in stay. Str, as in straw. Sw, as in sway. Shr, as in shred. Tr, as in tree. Tw, as in twig. Thr, as in throw. Thw, as in thwart. Now this is very rare. I never, I can think of one word for thwart, 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 thwart. That is a strange consonant cluster. Okay, cool. So we just went through all, all 30 of the consonant clusters that come at the beginning of words in English, okay? 
And some of them, those three part consonant clusters do not exist in Arabic at all. So this is new, a new sound that you're making, okay? Just have to keep trying it. It's physiological, it's muscular, it's your lips, your teeth, your tongue, your throat. It's like learning to ride a bicycle. It's a physical thing. It's not mental. Well, it's a little bit mental, but it's mental and physical, okay? All right, cool. Please repeat after me. This is a crazy paragraph, but um, just let's do it. Quick, let's play sport, then split. After, we can draw pictures of dreaded blue crows that have small slender claws and that live in shrubby, glowing, twiggy trees. You try. Okay, this is the final part of this lesson. We're going to look at final consonant clusters. So this is when groups of uh, consonants come at the end of the word, like sk and nk, for example. It's crazy stuff. This is the final part, so let's do it. Okay, here are all the final English consonant clusters. There are 25, so dz, as in lads. as in soft, x as in fix, lb as in bulb, lb, lb, there's a weird sound, ulch as in belch, uld as in build, ulf as in gulf, as in silk. Up, as in help. Ult, as in salt. Inch, as in punch. Und, as in send. Und, as in scent, ns as in bronze, ps as in laps, tapped, tapped. Now, just let me stop here. This is so important, this sound, this pt, pt, pt sound. This is a past tense verb, like I tapped, I tapped, I tapped my finger, I tapped ed, ED sometimes make the, makes the pt, pt, like I mapped something, or I tapped something, or I stopped. So you don't say stopped, you say stopped, stopped. Crazy sound. Anyway, there you go. Tapped. Next one. Sk, as in mask. Sp, as in clasp. as in chest. <laughs> act, I can't say this sound, I'm sorry. Act, act, act. That's a crazy one too. Five more. I can't say this one either. Film, film, lm, 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 lm. Valve, lv, lv. Lv. Jump. Mp. 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 Nj. Change. Change. Nj. 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 And finally, ink. 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 Help. I can't clasp the bronze valve. I want to build a treasure chest from bronze and gold, but I have a single scent. Oops, I missed a word. You try.
Okay, so maybe, probably, what you're doing is you're saying helped, help, help, help. Don't put any vowel sounds in here. Oop, oop, oop. It's not, it's not, it's not help, help like this. There's no vowel sound. It's help, help. Or it's not clasped, clasp, clasp. It's clasp, clasp, sp, sp, sp. No vowel sound between these consonants here, okay? Or it's not want it, want it. It's want, want, want. Or it's not billed, billed, billed. Build, build, build. Cool. If you're not yet a subscriber, please click that subscribe button and become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful. Um, do stick around and uh, become a subscriber because we will do the uh, grammar differences between English and Arabic as well. So if you're struggling with your writing and your verbs or your article use or whatever, I'm going to make a few videos on that. If you want additional help, if you really want to get good at English, then check out e2school.com or check out e2language.com, okay? Cool. We can help you with your general English and with your test preparation. My name is Jay. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, share it with your friends who also speak Arabic. That would be great to share this around. So if they're speaking English, they can speak a lot more clearly. It'd be great. Cool. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.